Shalom, shalom to the 12 tribes that are scattered. Uh, just want to talk to you guys about something I was reading earlier. I was in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10. This is one of my favorite passages. It's one of my favorite passages because here Paul the Apostle is recounting the story of ancient Israel. How God, or Yah, freed them from Egypt after hundreds of years of slavery to the Egyptians, bondage to the Egyptians. Now, many of us will agree that that is a picture of us today being freed from bondage, from slavery to sin or to the kingdom of darkness, the system of Babylon. Now, Paul goes on to say that after God or Yah released them, you know, they had to go through a lot of trial and testing. And every single time they went through a test, the Most High was faithful and came through for them. Even though they murmured and complained and complained and complained and rebelled and disobeyed Yah time and time again. Well, in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, Paul feels uh, that he has to remind those people in Corinth that those things happen for one specific reason, so that all of us looking back would uh, look at that as the example of Yah's patience, mercy, and grace. But more importantly, he says, not to forget that Yah will eventually judge evil, will judge wickedness, will judge idolatry, and will judge all sin. So Paul is begging them not to forget the children of Israel and what happened to them as they all fell dead in the wilderness. They all died, except for Joshua and Caleb. Two people out of millions, two people out of millions came out of uh, bondage, out of Egypt, and into the Promised Land. Now think about that. If Paul in the New Testament is giving that example to all of us looking back, and New Testament scriptures also speak of that very few are saved. Very few find the way. So what am, I, what am I trying to tell you today? I'm trying to warn you guys. I'm trying to warn everyone, and including myself, that all things are being shaken right now. All things are being shaken. And all things are going to be tried by fire. And uh, there is a purging. And why am I why am I feeling compelled to, to tell you these things? Because I know in my spirit that there is there is a day of judgment coming for all of us, whether He comes to us or we die and go to Him, we will stand before the Most High, and we will be judged, contrary to what your pastor may tell you. You will be judged for all your works. Read your Bible. Now, I'm not trying to say this to be self-righteous or to condemn anyone. But as one who knows that uh, in our, our, our everyday lives, when we uh, break uh, rules, when we break commandments, uh, whether it be at work or whether we, whether we break our uh, uh covenant vows to our spouses there's there is ramifications there are consequences and you know what your wife or your husband may forgive you your boss may forgive you and so may God forgive you it's just totally up to him but one thing sure is for sure that sin has consequences sin has consequences so why test the most high why put God to the test I'm telling you today, if you are sinning or you are in some type of sin, please, 
repent. Turn around and go the other way. Go run to God. Run to Yah. He is kind, merciful, and full of grace. Again, read 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Read 1 Corinthians chapter 10. Now, let me just read it to you. Let me just read it to you. All right? Give me a few minutes. Please allow me. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 10. The heading of the chapter says, Warnings from, my, warnings from Israel's History. I don't want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, that our ancestors were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea and all ate the same spiritual food and all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank from the spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was Messiah. Nevertheless, Yah was not pleased with most of them and they were struck down in the wilderness. Now pay attention to verse 6. Now these things occurred as an example for us. For us. So that we might not desire evil as they did. Do not become like them. Because they suffered the consequences of their actions. My brothers and sisters. Don't listen to these false teachers. These people who are telling you. That everything is covered. All your sins. Past, present and future. The scriptures do not. Do not support this. As I said. The Old Testament. Shows Yah's character Yah's will and it is revealed in Messiah Messiah obeyed his father and never sinned against his father for that he was rewarded why would it be any different for us why would the most high favor us over his son and why would he favor the apostles over us they all died as well for what for being obedient being obedient and being righteous in a world filled with so much uh, sin and, and uh, abominations and even even in the church in all sectors of the church the judgment as scripture says of God or Yah begins in the house of Yah there's a shaking and a purging right now if the Most High is speaking to you. If you have heard His voice, please repent of all your evil, all your wickedness. Get out of her, my people, Yah says. Well, I hope this teaching or this word touched your heart. I pray that the Most High just speaks to you and speaks to all of us in these days that are coming. The Most High is faithful. He will not leave us or forsake us. Shalom. And may the Most High bless you.